Hey yo, five dollar Friday here on Uncle Jojo's house. Dollar day, a lottery scratching. Well, Merry Christmas. The Christmas tickets have hit the store, so I got Merry Mint money. What do we have to get here? Candy cane, win the prize. A sled, you'd get double the prize. And then if you get the, let's see, the dollar bill there, you get all 15 prizes. Be nice to just get that right off the bat, get it over with. What about, well, I guess, well, you can only win up to $500. That's kind of weak for a $5 ticket. But hey, if, well, it didn't work out for the uh, hit 50 on the dollar tickets, but you'd think if it's a lower prize, sorry about that loud noise, that there would be more prizes to go around. What do you gotta get here? Uh, okay, if you get that, that's where you went all. I guess it smells like peppermint or something. I don't know, let's see if we can get anything. I can't tell ya. Don't know where this week went. I don't know where the month of September went. We're already in October. Ginger, nope. Can tell this is gonna be pretty, pretty lame. Pretty quick to get through. So I really don't have too much, you know, to complain or talk about today. I did see a news story, I think it was out of Montana but this guy got arrested and all this for uh, having a, for cloning a sheep, I think it was, and then having it breed with other sheep. Like, first of all, I didn't really read all the stories, so I don't know all the details, but I was laughing at it. How did this guy randomly clone a sheep and why? Is it illegal, one, to do it? If you can figure that out at home, I mean, I guess more power to you. That's what I say. But then why is it illegal to have a cloned sheep breed with a non-cloned sheep? Really crazy, crazy story. I think that was out of Montana. I'll have to look that up and <laughs> read it again. Had a good laugh about it. Not a good laugh about this ticket. Lost us five bucks there. Oh, and uh, Little Caesars here in town continues to uh, be underwhelming. Like, oh, you know, I haven't had Little Caesars. I've had it twice since it opened, I don't know, almost a year ago. Yeah, I guess like a year ago. Okay, oh, I'll try that. You know, they got that hot and ready pizza. Went up to 10 grand on Shiny and Bright, another Halloween, or not, Christmas theme ticket, I'm sorry. You get a star or tree to win a hundred bucks. Be nice. Anyway, I go in there. Like, I, yeah, they got pepperoni on sale for five bucks. So I thought I'd grab that. I can't really beat five bucks for a large pizza, right? She goes, oh, that'll be 45 minutes. I'm like, yeah. Because they don't have any ready. I'm like, mm, I should have known. Should have just went to Domino's. So I'm sitting here scratching these tickets, waiting for this 45 minutes to pass. So I can get my hot and ready pizza. It'll be ready sometime in the future. Well, I'm going to assume it'll still be hot. So that should be good. Anyway, kind of a hodgepodge. Like I said, not that interesting of a week. We just got a total wipeout, man. <sighs> All right, so I went down to get gas in Missouri. I'm like, oh, what the heck? I'm gonna get me a $10 ticket. So they're really up in the ante here. Gotta match the number. This is a 50 or 100. Those are the only two prizes I'm assuming. That could save us. Missouri usually does all right for me. So let's see if we get a 
$5 bill stack, it's instant win. 13, nope. 24, 27, 15, 14. None of those. 12, backwards 21. 23, 20, 17, 7. <laughs> Not looking good. Looking like a $20 loss here. Well, unless I win the uh, Mega Millions. 8, 18, 30, 35. Last rows pretty rare to win on. Shoot. <laughs> Extra special loss tonight. Well, uh, good start to the weekend, right? We'll see what happens the rest of the weekend. I probably won't spend any more money on lottery tickets, but who knows? We'll find out. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And share so maybe I can get some watch hours. Have a good one.